Good evening, everybody. And we're near Picktown right now. And, well, let me recap what happened today. We started the morning at Newton Hills with a very early start. We were out by about 7, 10 a.m. in the morning. That's packed up, literally leaving the campground. Because we need to get to the Subaru dealership in Sioux Falls, not Sioux City, because we need to try to get the headlight replaced and the damage repair from the deer strike several days ago. So we took the interstate back up through uh, Sioux Falls and then we with a little local directions, we found the Subaru dealership, which, well, honestly, is a little hard to find if you don't know where it is exactly. Uh, I'll tell you what, beautiful dealership. Give me a second. Uh, they, besides the standard lounge and coffee, they had a free cappuccino, free snacks, a free Wi-Fi. Um, video games, uh, oh, it gets better. Uh, they even had massage chairs free of charge. Oh, and yeah, we, we took videos of all of this, so check them out. Anyways, um, after changing people several times to get to the right person uh, and having several people look at the car, uh, they were able to take out the what remained of the, the headlight bracket, which, uh, it's kind of a piece like this or what was left of it out so it wouldn't be a safety hazard and uh, unfortunately but we kind of knew it uh, the part of it was out of stock so they ordered it for us and we're gonna pick it up in like two days in Rapid City so we're on one side of South Dakota we'll pick up the part on the other end of South Dakota from there we went directly south on the, on the interstate I-29 as fast as we could, which is very fast. Most uh, interstates are 65 miles an hour limit. Um, South Dakotas are 80. Wow, it's, that's almost race car speed there. And by the way, uh, your standard passenger car tires are only rated up to about 80 miles an hour anyway. So any faster you know, a standard car tire will risk a blowout. Just say. Anyway, so we be tracked all the way down through to Sioux City and then even another 15, 20 miles further south to Nebraska City because that's where we actually uh, had stopped sightseeing and started uh, driving quickly only to get to the campground early so we could get to the Subaru dealership early. But from then, we did some campground videos, um, toured Sioux City. Uh, by the way, Sioux City is another one just like Kansas City. There's like three states that intersect, uh, plus like two rivers. And wow, it is really tough because no map pretty much covers uh, the area completely and effectively. So, I was just kind of flipping maps right and left and still made some wrong turns. But uh, we got some train videos. Yay! Uh, and some campground videos. Yay! After that, uh, I have to admit it was kind of partly cloudy when we started, but the weather just slowly improved all day. Uh, and then when we got to out of Sioux City, which for, was a late lunch for us at, uh, at a Burger King, we drove west, well, northwest along the Missouri River, sort of. Here is the Missouri River, and way over here, about four or five miles, is actually the first road that actually goes through. So we followed that instead of being along the Missouri River. So we saw a lot more 
farmland than we saw of the, the actual river itself. Uh, also, in uh, one of the towns, there was a national fish hatchery and aquarium. And the aquarium was, you know, small, but it's free and it had all the local uh, fish and amphibians and turtles. And uh, then we had a surprise waiting for Evelyn at the fish hatchery. Now, almost all the ponds are dry still because they're still in springtime. Um, all the little hatchlings, they're in the buildings which were closed at the time we were there. We were, we were there like five o'clock or so. Uh, but they had two runs uh, or long uh, runs of like uh, of tanks. I don't know what to call them tanks, but they're like uh, pools. They're like about that deep. They're about that wide, and they're like 40 feet long. And they were just stuffed with tr rainbow trout and. Uh, Evelyn was just really going, ooh, look at the fishies. Not exactly her words, but close. But what she didn't realize uh, was, and which I surprised her, was that you could feed the fish with the fish food that you could buy for a very low price. So I surprised her with a whole cup of fish food. And uh, here is a, quote, demonstration of... Uh, Evelyn feeding fish. Here you go. Ooh, look at them jumping, they're jumping, they're jumping. Wow, look at their nearly neat. Okay, all right. Evelyn's gonna kill me. <laughs> but, uh, but she was excited, she had fun, uh, and that was the whole idea. And it was neat for me too. I've seen this sort of thing before. So from there, we just drove westward for about another two hours. We got to Pickville, uh, and which is a very small town. Um, there's a casino and a very large private um, RV uh, or trailer park. And then across the way, there's a wreck area, which had even at the short time, RVers and it was packed full of trails. Oh, by the way, it's midweek, it's May, it shouldn't be that way, but it is. But uh, next to the private trailer park was a small store with a uh, gas station, but the only restaurant in town. And uh, well, we uh, arrived on the right day. They had a steak special. I love steak. I rarely eat it because I can't afford it. Neither can Evelyn, but the price is right. It was really good. And Evelyn was going, it's too much food. So I helped her, which is usually what I do. And uh, she gets to eat what she wants. And I actually actually get full too. But it was it was a good steak. And we had mashed potatoes, asparagus, um, very, uh, um, Evelyn had uh, sweet potato fries. It was good all the way around. So that's where I'm going to leave it because, uh, because that's where the night video will start. Uh, this is Denusa and Evelyn behind the camera. Thank you. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Have a great evening. Bye.